All right, everybody. So we have made it into Conuga 2020. So uh, this is actually going to be my first time at this event. So I'm super excited to see what all they got. So let's head in, check it out. All right, so first and foremost, look at this massive gaming hall. So this literally is just gaming, board games and such like that. This is, this is huge. So uh, yeah, it just keeps, you can actually get some stuff right here, some supplies and pieces and yeah, this is a whole nother level that I am a new bat, but there's plenty of space. Conuga 2020. All right, we found uh, found our first booth with some action figures in it. Uh, got some statues. That's actually a really cool Punisher statue right there. I should like that. Got a Hulkbuster, Black Widow. Oh yeah, not bad at all. All right, so this next booth we're coming into is Lone Wolf Customs, and they do some amazing work on helmets, and hopefully I will be picking up a helmet today, but they also do vests. We got patches, Velcro patches, pretty much anything you could think of, and more helmets. Really, really cool. So yeah, we got some flight tags, got aprons, but what I'm here for is right here. So let's uh, let's see if they got one to fit my head. All right, so I want you to check out these remove before flight keychains. These are really, really cool. But there was one actually caught my eye. It's Razor Crest right there. I may have to pick one of those up too. And we got Slave One. So these are really, really cool. All right, guys, found some more, uh, found some more figures. We got the Unleashed. We got some three and three quarter. Got Django Fat right there. Ooh, we have uh, vehicles. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's 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 nice right there. So uh, let's head on to the other side of the wall and see what they got. All right, we have the Mandalorian carbonized, sixty bucks. Got all the white boxes. There's Grievous. I think this is a boot that we see a lot in a lot of uh, conventions. Shock Trooper. We got, there's like Star Wars everywhere. So let's dive into this. Ewok Assault Catapult looks really good. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say about that. We got a battle droid. Curious. It looks like we've already had some uh, folks get some stuff, but these little battle sets actually look pretty good. Oh, looky there. There she is. Oh, it's two. One thing about it, there's lots of stuff to look at. I actually like that Luke Skywalker in the Wampa. And we, oh, look at there, Captain Rex, right there. I have him. We got some uh, clone troopers with a DVD. Awesome. Darth Maul. Got some pretty cool stuff here, guys. Skirmish in the Senate. Some of this stuff I have not seen before, which is nice. Yeah, this is a, a this is really a good uh, collection of Star Wars figures. So we got a uh, salt tank right there. There's Poe Dameron's X-wing. Got that. ATSTs. 
We got all kinds of vehicles. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty neat looking. Yeah, we've got plenty of Star Wars stuff. All right. What else we got going on here? We're moving around the corner. Sorry, guys, I'm moving around quite a bit. We got some vehicles down here that look really cool. All right, let's move on down. That actually looks really cool. I actually like that. All right, guys, let's uh, let's see what else we can find because we're going to end with the child. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, what's up? We found some Funko Pops. So far, I've actually, uh, Conig is actually pretty cool so far. Like I said, first time I've been here, but I'm not seeing nothing jump out at me too much as far as the Funko Pops. So, uh, Let's see what else we can find. All right, so I'm walking out through here and I saw this Groot, which uh, is actually really cool. But if you notice, we have some other stuff. We got some Star Wars right there. So uh, yeah, this might be a pretty good little booth. Thor. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. I uh, got some NECA figures. We got we got some Black Series there as well. Twenty bucks on the Jet Trooper. And we also have some uh, Masco stuff down here on the bottom shelf. That's very very cool to see. I haven't seen anything Hot Toys related yet, so. You never know, we might. But uh, let me look around this booth a little bit more and if I see anything cool, I'll show you what I find. All right, we found another Funko booth. So let's uh, see what they've got. They've got a lot of Funko Pops. Oh, what do we got? Let's see if anything jumps out at us real quick. There's there's Brian from Family Guy. Got a Prince. There's really no rhyme or reason. Got Stan Lee right there. Got Sam. Scorpion. Cyborg Walmart exclusives. Let's move on down here and see what we got. Um, so far, not seeing too much that's jumping out at me that I have to have, but some cool looking pops. Got a crazy 88, that's awesome. I like that, it's a good movie. We have the Stanley Walmart there, Samurai Deadpool. We also have some up here on top. got some more over here I will have to go over there and look at those here in just a second but as of right now um, I think I'm gonna move on come back to this a little bit and of course you wouldn't have to be a con without a Deadpool right there and some more cosplayers a lot of cosplayers here and I've actually saw some really cool ones so uh, I might show a little bit more of those got some dragon stuff up here on the top and of course, we got some weapons as well. Every con has a weapons booth. We have a Roman sentry, guard, centurion. All right, so I'm walking over here and I saw this Iron Man helmet, which that is really cool. But we also have some Mezco. I have no idea what this is, but hey, 
and just artwork stuff like that so that is cool right there <laughs> that is a cool that is such a cool costume more cosplayers but i actually saw this booth right here and uh we got some lego stuff and i'm actually looking for a particular one so we're going to look at some of these mini figs and probably pick up some if i can find the right one so i love every bit of that i will be back as soon as i get done looking at these guys all right we found the small little selection of figures but uh there's the gray elk and we've got we've got some of the newer stuff deadpool but uh yeah 20 bucks a piece for the uh legend so that's pretty cool we've got some actually really cool artwork back there in the back mandalorian stuff so let me move on down here and i'll show you something else this booth. we got mystery boxes so we got Final Fantasy, so I say Dragon Ball Z mystery boxes, Harry Potter, Pokemon. We've got some Funko Pops as well. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. And we've got Mandalorians. Very, very cool right there. He's the first one I've seen here today, so that's cool. We got Cara Dune and Mandalorian right there. That is really cool looking. That is awesome. I might have to trust you my picture with Cara Dune. All right, we got another Mando right there. Looks really cool. <laughs> got some more cosplayers over here. So this is actually like the main hall. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but <laughs> but we might as well film it. Follow us. <laughs> and we got Batman right there. Looks cool. I will say the cosplayer presence is really, really good here today. At the priest. This is cool. So for this being my first uh, Con Nuga, I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy with it. So I think we're going to move on up and I'm not sure what else I'm going to be filming, but let's go find out. Well, I have found R2 and BB-8, the R2 D2 Builders Club, but check out this backdrop right here. You know I'm going to take a selfie, or you know what? Let's just do a selfie video. All right, guys, so we got R2-D2 BB-8, but we got an X-Wing. I need this backdrop, just saying. Oh, yeah. I'll get some close-ups. Don't scream at me. Don't scream at me. <laughs> All right, so I just noticed these helmets right here, and these are actually pretty interesting. War Machine. Yeah, these are cool. Oh, wow, that's got some color to it. That's very neat. Okay, so we are now at the Zombie Outbreak Response Team, and this thing is ready to go. It's decked out. This is what everybody needs, is a zombie outbreak response vehicle. Just saying. So one of the things that I find really amusing right now is all the child merchandise that's actually, I've seen for sale here, from hats to shirts to posters. So yeah, people are definitely jumping on the bandwagon and, uh, working the Mandalorian and the child. So, but hey, at least I got a selfie with Cara D. So, all right guys, I don't know what else, but I think it's coming to an end. But I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and see if I can find anything else.
So we'll get a few more cosplayers as I'm walking out. It's, um, I really admire the cosplaying community because number one, the creative process that they have is amazing, but uh, I dig it. All right, guys, I will see you out in the car. Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, I'm wrapping things up at Conuga. 2020 right there um first time i've been to the con and uh to be honest it was uh it was a nice con lots of art lots of anime lots of cosplay uh lots of gaming um figures wise not a lot huge star wars section that uh you guys saw uh, but not as far as um Legends, DC, one booth had quite a bit on the Mesco side, but um, yeah, overall it was fun. It's in my hometown, support it, I'm great. But the reason why I actually came and the reason why I actually for sure wanted to be at uh, Conduga this year was because of Lone Wolf Customs. <laughs> That's right. Lone Wolf Customs. Right here. Right here. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Right there. Lone Wolf Customs. Boom. Um, I'll definitely be putting the link to their social media in the actual description of the video. But, I am now. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Ooh, I have my Mando grunt helmet. This is a uh, resin cast. It's um, it, it weighs about two pounds. It's not really heavy. Um, of course, I do have to do the finishing work on it. Uh, I went ahead and got the rangefinder upgrade which this is metal, which I thought was a really nice touch. And basically in a nutshell, you drill a small, small hole here and you attach the rangefinder thusly. Uh, but this is good, high quality stuff. So uh, yeah, right here. Now, I won't be able to see, but <laughs> totally cool about this um, again I've got to customize it I've got to paint it uh, you do have to actually trim out this which I got some good tips on doing that uh, it's got to be primed and sanded and painted but that's the fun of it I'm not buying something pre-done I want it to be my touch um, you know, I don't want I don't want to buy something that someone else has already had a concept on. I wanted it to be my helmet. Uh, one of the other cool things uh, that they do, and uh, and the helmet was not bad at all. It was uh, counting this, it was 130 bucks, which for something that's that quality. Yeah, totally worth it. And I know people's gonna be going, but man, you gotta paint it. You gotta do all this. That's it. Doesn't matter. It's quality, quality, quality. And to have a rangefinder that's metal, that's huge. But they also included uh, some mesh for the back of the helmet. If you decide to cut out these vents in the back, right here. Uh, the mesh is designed to go on the inside for airflow, which that was uh, that was cool. We also got a bag of Greeblies, which uh, he includes this with every one of his helmets. These are just various uh, 3D printed pieces that you can put on costumes or armor, possibly even the helmet itself. So. Big shout out to Lone Wolf Customs, awesome folks. Um, we we're actually talking about maybe me coming down and hanging out with them. And uh, 
I told him, I said, you just let me know I'm there. I'm there. I'll come hang out, see the shop, and just talk helmets. So, but that's it. That's all I got today. Um, again, that's what I came for. So this was a successful con, but I think it's I'm done. I'm going to the house. So, uh, guys, as always, uh, like I said from the beginning of the videos, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, why not? Subscribe now. <laughs> Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you know when I drop the next video. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you in the next video.